Hey, your pal. Answer a question for me. What do these three objects have in common? Well, as it turns out, all of them are inventions so old we have no idea who made them. Welcome back to the Den of Alacrity. Today, I want to talk to you about bread. Just like everybody else in the world, it seems, I got really into bread making during the first lockdown of 2020. I had a sourdough starter, I was making basically a loaf every week, and I was really, really into it. Um, but for the past few months, I have not done any bread making at all. So today, I've got a free Sunday, and I wanted to dedicate it to bread making. And I also want to make a bit of like a history of video. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I quite like going into the history of hobbies, right? I did one for 3D printing, I did it for uh, D&D. &D, and so I wanted to have a look at the history of bread making. Now, this was where I got absolutely blown away. Turns out, bread making, about as old as any hobbies get right this is ancient today you're going to be getting more of a vlog style video so this is sunday morning i'm going to make a loaf of bread today and i'm also going to do some research and find out the history of bread making and, and get answers to some questions i've got like when did bread start and how much has it changed since then and i also want to kind of look at the impact that bread has had on culture i feel like it's kind of a very pervasive food stuff across the world and ultimately i want to find out is bread the most important food in history. Anyway, that's uh, me done for my desk right now. I'm gonna go down and start making the loaf. I'll see you there. So here we are, back in my kitchen. Um, I apologize, there's loads of things that make noise in here. So if you get like low hums or stuff from right near the road, I do apologize. I'll try and keep the audio as clean as possible. I uh, started off my life already, I just kind of got on with it. I'm not going to lie, the kind of secondary reason I wanted to make this video is because I got a present the other day, which was this um, sourdough starter from my friend, who himself got it from somebody who works in the cafeteria at work, and we, it's either 15 or 20 years old. I'm doing a recipe from this book by um, Dan Lepard, who I've spoken about before. In my actual first ever video on YouTube, I took you through one of his recipes on how to make um, white bread super easily. So go check that out, I'll leave it in a link somewhere up here. But yeah, this recipe is also um, from Dan Lepard, it's from this handmade loaf. Um, it's called the Mill Loaf, and it uses a bit of sourdough starter and a mix of white and grain flour. It takes a while though, because I'm obviously using the sourdough starter for uh, leavening, so to get the rise, um, you have to leave it for ages. If you guys want to bake along as well, definitely go check out that first video that has the recipe in it. I recommend, really easy to get along with, but literally just search for Dan Lepard Easy White Bread Recipe on the internet. Um, and you can join in, yeah, we can both do some baking, you know? But yeah, so anyway, I kind of combined the flour, I've kneaded this, and uh, Dan Lepard's methods always involve lots of gaps in the middle. So this, at the moment, is just waiting for a nice rise. Uh, and now I'm going to go off and do a little bit of research. I've got some more books that I want to look at throughout today, so I think I'll leave links to all of them in the description down below. Um, if you want to get your hands on them. Uh, if you guys know of any good bread books as well, let me know. Um, I'm always up for making more bread. Anyway, yeah, so this is just going to be left now, so I will see you back upstairs. I've done my first little bit of reading about bread, and the very first question I had was, where did bread get started, and how much has it changed since then? Now take a minute, just guess, how old do you think the oldest piece of bread that we've recovered is? I'll give you a couple seconds. It's like 14 and a half thousand years old. Right, and they found it in the remains of a hunter-gatherer camp and it fundamentally sh shifted the way that we looked at our history. And I was originally really interested in this from a book called Sapiens by um, Yuval Noah Harari, uh, which goes through like the whole kind of history of humanity. But the original sort of view was that we had this Neolithic revolution, right? Hunter-gatherers started becoming um, more agriculturally focused around 12,000 years ago. The first domesticated plant was wheat. Wheat provides a high uh, nutritional value, it has a really high glycemic, in glycemic index, which means that it provides a lot of energy. I picked up a book, I wanted to kind of get a better view of this history, so I picked up a book called uh, Bread, A Global History by William Rubel, and that's where I'm getting a lot of this information from. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below if you guys are interested. Now we found grindstones from as early as 26,000 years ago, so you know, making bread um, and baking it is something that we've been doing for, you know, 25,000 years at least. And so I'm honoured today to be kind of getting back to that old original heritage. And that was super interesting. Bread has changed massively. So originally the kind of oldest forms of wheat were um, not self-threshing. Um, so 
Wheat takes a lot of processing, first to get it out of the outer husk and then to get the kind of seed in the middle out of its inner husk, which is also quite difficult. There wouldn't have been the kind of fine, really white flour that we used to nowadays. It would have been a much more coarse affair. My next question, I think I'm gonna find out, I need to go check on that loaf, but then I wanna have a look at like how bread has impacted culture. So the next question was, what has the cultural impact of bread been, right? So we looked a little bit at the history, where did it come from? I mean, from what I've read online and also in the book, it seems like it's the basis for kind of modern society. The oldest cities we know of had well-established bread cultures. Um, Uruk, which is a city in the Fertile Crescent, um, in modern day Iraq was, yeah, one of the first cities and well known for its bread. From the kind of earlier stages of civilization, bread was at the center of it. What's truly amazing is that everywhere you go, there is some kind of bread culture. They're very different, they're as diverse as obviously the people in the world, but you can look to kind of East Asia and China and you have the bowels that are kind of steamed rather than baked. You can go to South America where obviously we have tortillas and across Africa, lots of flatbreads as well, but leavened bread too. Um, I think the rule that he said in the book was everywhere that there's beer, there's probably bread and everywhere that it's warm, there was probably sourdough. I'm really happy with how my loaf's coming together. I'm gonna go put it in the oven in a minute. Just gotta do a couple of slashes and I've really enjoyed learning about this bread stuff today. So yeah, I'll see you when the loaf's going in. It's the next day now, that took longer than I expected. Working with the sourdough starter, you kind of have to leave it until, for ages, it took like four hours for that final proof. So we enjoyed a couple uh, pieces of bread last night, but now I'm gonna cut two more pieces and I'm gonna have some now and then we'll wrap this video up. Back at my desk, I've uh, got my two pieces of bread here, look, buttered, um, ready to eat for a little afternoon snack. And that's it for today's video, so thank you so much for joining me for this kind of Sunday and Monday full of learning. I hope you enjoyed this more kind of informal vlog style. Um, I think I might do a few more of these, um, try and get them a bit more packed with information, keep improving on it. It's the first time I've done anything like this, so yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, and I have a specific question actually for the comments. I want to know if um, bread is a cornerstone of your culture, whether that be sort of locally within your family or wider, like a country or a group of people that you're a part of, um, let me know about it in the comments down below. I'm really interested to hear how this kind of universal, um, <clears throat> unifying factor of bread is shared across our cultures. And if it's not, let me know in the comments as well, because you know, that's the great thing about the world is we're all a little bit different and I love le learning about it. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you liked this video, then why not check out one of my other ones? I think it should be somewhere over here. Um, this is the one the YouTube uh, algorithm gods think you will like the most so yeah definitely check that one out uh, and if you like these videos in general why not give that little subscribe button there a tickle until next time my beautiful shadow of internet jaguars go learn something <laughs>